My name is Robert Lesnick, I'm exterior chief designer, responsible for all passenger cars and one of them was also this beauty here, our 222 new S-Class. We say this is the best car in the world and I will tell you why this is the best exterior design in the world. This car has no wedge anymore. The previous one, 221, was a car with quite a lot of wedge. You know, the car was pushing forward while still standing still. Now the car is not pushing forward anymore, but is, let's say, sitting on the rear wheel. And maybe you notice, I'm sure you did, the car has no pronounced wheel edges anymore. I remember when the two, in year 2005, when the previous one, W221, was presented, I spoke with, as I said, I was not working at this company yet, but I spoke with another designer from another car company, and I asked him, so how do you like the new S-Class? And he said, I don't like the wheel edges. Wrong answer. You should say, I like the car. Not talk about the details unless you approach the car. Then you have to discover the details. And that was the main goal of exterior design of this car. You all know how the Riva boat is accelerating. It's not a real sports loud uh, boat. It's a very elegant boat. You know, just slightly goes up in the front. This, should, this car should look like that, that boat. Very round belt line. There is one line that really shows that everything, we call it dropping line. This is this line that starts at the front where the highest point of the car is. It's actually there where the star is, is I would say it's my feeling, there's the highest, highest point of the car. And from there, everything falls toward the rear end. As a contrast, there is a very subtle muscle it's very soft, it's just a bone. This is a very precise, sharp line. The tightest radius that you can get out of aluminium. But this one, as a contrast, is much softer. This A-pillar, I mean, looks like a normal A-pillar, but actually it is a benchmark in terms of aerodynamics and aeroacoustics and also water management. You know, there was a little story my, I personally drive uh, E-Class, uh, just a normal station wagon, nothing special, but it has actually the same A-pillar that the new S-Class has. And my wife was driving on the German Autobahn at 140, 150 kilometers, not miles per hour, during the heavy rain. And suddenly she noticed that the side window is absolutely dry. Later on she asked me, so, how come? I said, yeah, that's, that's our job. There's another very nice detail that we are proud about. This is this chrome stripe here. This element here, normally, you would expect a shot line here. A junction of two, of, two, of two parts, like almost everybody else does, but no. We took this width, this profile of this width, dragged it, bent it and milled it off. So at the end, everything looks, of course, much more solid, much more yeah, high quality if you don't have the shot line here. S-Class introduces new wing mirror as well. This mirror is something special also in terms of aerodynamics, aeroacoustics and water management. This area with the A-pillar plays a very important role. But I remember when we started to do a new one, a few years ago, when we started with design, exterior design of the car, the engineers came with the old one and said, please use it. Uh, we said, no, I, we would like to do a new one, it's S-Class. But they said, no, the other one, the old one, it's the optimum that we, get, that we can get out of a shape, a mirror in terms of aerodynamics. And we thought, okay, let's have a try. Let's, let's give it a try. So we did one, we designed one, and maybe it was just a luck. At the end, it turned out even better, that it's even better than the previous one. And at the end, uh, we have new shape. We have, a we have a new turn indicator with high performance LED, a light guide. We have surround view camera, we have antenna in there, and we have 
aerodynamic rips inside which a customer from outside will never see. But once you sit in the car and at some point you will notice them. But then we can say they are there for a reason. Everything is kind of shaped because of aerodynamics. So it's so typical S-Class. We have one piece light. Everybody else does two piece lights horizontally. We have on purpose vertical light. Maybe because S-Class always had something like this, but this is a detail or element, this element, which we believe is very typical for our Mercedes sedans. It allows us very tight we have very tight shot lines. We have partially even 0.8 millimeters, just because the light itself is not touching the moving part, part, the trunk. We didn't get it without a fight. Okay, the front end is definitely next to the side profile and the rear end, the most important part of the car. What makes it so special in S-Class? It's definitely, first of all, you always look at the eyes of the, R, of the car and on the grille. The grille is very dominant, the whole front is big, but never heavy. This is very important for the whole car. Definitely unique design elements. They are, let's say, so obvious that, that every child everywhere in the world would recognize it as Mercedes. It's a grille. We don't even need to put a star on it. Everybody will know this is, this is Mercedes. Grille is something that uh, we would not dare to change. Yeah? We, we, we change it a little bit. It's now it's it's three-dimensional. It's not flat anymore, it's, it's much bigger, it's much more proud, it's standing more upright. This is my job, you know, uh, me as an as exterior designer. So I have to give you a feeling, yes, it's familiar, it's S-Class. It's coming home feeling, it's S-Class, it's Mercedes.